Bonjour, let's have a look at the verb courir to run in three tenses. I'm going to do something a little different now. I'm going to teach you how to conjugate the verb courir, which is to run in three tenses. We will start with the present tense, then the passé composé or past tense, and then the future tense. Okay, let's start. So, courir is a highly irregular verb. Though it ends with IR, it does not belong to the second verb group, but the third one. So, it is an irregular verb. How do we conjugate courir in the present tense? So, how do I say I run or I am running, you run and so on? Well, we do it this way. Je cours. I run or I am running. Tu cours. You run or you're running. Il court. He runs or he is running. Elle court. She runs or she is running. On court. One runs or one is running. Nous courons. We run or we are running. Vous courez. You run or you are running. Il court. They run or they are running. Elle court. They run or they are running as in the feminine plural they. Okay? Now have a look at it again. Je cours, tu cours, il court, elle court, on court, nous courons, vous courez, il court, elle court. And why don't you learn it by heart what you are at it? Okay? Might come useful. You never know. So, two examples using the verb courir in the present tense. Here's the first example. Tom court devant sa sœur. Tom court, as in Tom runs, so he runs devant in front of his sister. Okay, il court devant sa sœur. And notice that it is sa and not son because sœur is feminine. Okay, here's another example. Mon ami et moi courons pour attraper le bus. Mon ami et moi. So my friend and I. I purposefully did not use the direct subject here pronoun as in je, tu, il, I instead use mon ami et moi, my friend and I. What subject pronoun is it? Is it je? Is it tu? Is it il? Well, in this case, it's nous, we. It's my friend and myself. So it's we, okay? So when you conjugate we, we know it's nous, courons. So mon ami et moi courons pour attraper le bus to catch the bus, okay? So that's my examples and this is courir in the present tense. Now, what I'd like you to do is conjugate with me courir in the passé composé. When I mean passé composé, I would like to say I have run. Run? Yes? Run. run. Sorry, I have run, okay? Run. So I ran or I have run. So that tells you in English how irregular it is. See, I'm having difficulty here. But in French, it's hard because courir in a past participle becomes couru. Okay, so this is the past participle. Now, when you know this, all you have to do is add j'ai, tu as, il a to this verb. Okay, so you would say j'ai couru and that means I have ran, run or I ran. Okay, yes. Now, tu as couru. Okay, tu as couru. You run or you have run. Am I getting that right? Il a couru. He ran or he has run. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Elle a couru. On a couru. Nous avons couru. Vous avez couru. Ils ont couru. Elles ont couru. 
Now, this is fairly simple once you know the past participle and we know and have a look at my other conjugation uh, verbs, okay, where I use the passé composé, the past participle. Once you know the past participle, it's dead easy. Do I, A, use the auxiliary verb to have, in this case I have, or do I, B, use the auxiliary verb to be, which happens sometimes in what we call movement verbs or reflexive verbs, okay? If I were to use an example using couru, j'ai couru, and so on, this is what I could say. J'ai couru très vite car je voulais gagner la course. J'ai couru très vite ou rapidement. Ok. I ran very quickly. Ok. Very quickly, very fast, très vite. Car, because, je voulais, I wanted. Je voulais, I wanted. I wanted to do what? Gagner. And gagner means to win. Yeah. Gagner la course, to win the race. So I ran very fast, so I ran the race, so I could win the race. Race, race. Okay. Second example. Les garçons ont couru derrière le camion de glace. Mm. Les garçons. So, les garçons is they. And it's masculine, they. It's the boys, okay? And what did they do? Ils ont couru. They ran. But they ran behind what? Derrière. Le camion de glace. The ice cream truck. And truck being le camion. Le camion de glace. The truck of ice cream. Les garçons ont couru derrière le camion de glace. Okay, in a minute I will show you the three tenses next to each other so you can see what they look like, okay, and how they differ as well and whether you see a pattern somewhere. Let's have a look at courir in the future tense. Now, as I said before, and please refer back to my future tense conjugation uh, videos where I teach you how to use the right endings for the right subject pronoun. For je, it's re, ra, ra, ron, re, ron. Okay, je, tu, il, elle, nouveau, il, elle, and so on. Okay, are we ready? This one is a little tricky because it has double R. Well, you see that it did not have double R in the present tense or in the passé composé tense. Now, double R. Je courrai. I will run. Tu Courra, you will run. Il courra, he will run. Elle courra, she will run. On courra, one will run. Nous courrons, we will run. Vous courrez, you will run. Ils courront, they will run. Elles courront, they will run will run. Run. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? Now, um, as always, I know it sounds fast, okay, but you can always pause the video. Pause. Tricked you, didn't I? <laughs> but that was funny. Maybe it's not. <laughs> Looking back, might be stupid. Anyway, if I had an example to use, I could say, nous courons le marathon de Londres Demain, nous courrons, so we will run, le marathon, the marathon, de Londres, of London, de, demain, tomorrow. Alternatively, if you didn't know how to use the future tense, you could say we are going to, nous allons courir le marathon de Londres demain. But then you need to know how to conjugate the verb to go in the present tense in order to form this kind of future proche, near future. Okay? Second example. Tu courras la course à pied de ton école le mois prochain car tu es très rapide. So, tu courras la course à pied. You will run the race, okay? The foot race, okay? De ton école, of your school, le mois prochain, next month, the month next, car, because, tu es, you are, très rapide, very rapid, or very fast, okay? So, this sentence is by far uh, the hardest, I think, 
Yeah. Okay. Um, now let's have a look at what it looks like. Ding. Can you see? Do you see any patterns? Do you see anything that can be of any help for you for this very highly irregular verb? Now it's up to you to learn it the way uh, you can. Okay, we all learn differently. Okay. Okay, so that is courir in three tenses and that's pretty much it for me. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, to find out more about what I do and teach you lots more stuff. And why don't you have a look at learnfrenchwithalexa.com where I teach you to the next level. And I have a Patreon page as well. Have a look at my Patreon page. page. Okay, that's it for me. Au revoir, à bientôt. Bisous, bisous. Bye.